All right, this next video, we're gonna start to go into calculating time. So we're gonna get eventually to our drip rates. Um, so for today's video, we're gonna go over calculating different uh, problems with time, and then we're going to calculate a total amount of time that an IV bag runs, okay? So for the first thing, calculating time. One minute is equal to 60 seconds, one hour is equal to 60 minutes, one day is equal to 24 hours. So your problems can say, so the first one, how many hours are in two days? Well, we know one day is 24 hours, right? So 24 times 2 equals 48 hours hours in two days okay next question How many minutes are in five hours? So one hour is 60 minutes. Five times 60, and we have a total of 300 minutes. Okay. So those are pretty simple. I don't think we need to spend too much time on that. Um, so now we're gonna be calculating how long it takes for an IV bag to run based off of uh, the volume per hour. So the first problem here says a two liter IV bag is set to run at 250 milliliters per hour. How long will this IV bag last? Now, the first thing that you have to do is because our volume per hour is in milliliters. So you have to convert this to, to milliliters. So 2000 liters is equivalent to 2000 milliliters. So what you're gonna do now is you're gonna take your total size of your bag, which is 2,000, divided by your 250, okay? So these cancel out, which leaves your answer in hours, okay? So 2,000 divided by 250 is eight hours. Pretty simple. Okay. So question number two says a one liter bag is set to run at 150 milliliters per hour. How long will this IV bag last? So again, we have to match what our volume is here. So we have to convert this. So one liter is equivalent to a thousand milliliters. So we're gonna take 1000 milliliters divided by 150 
and we get 6.7 hours. That's how long the IV bag is going to last. Okay. Now they're going to try to throw some curveballs in here. All right. So look at the curveball. It says two two liter bags of IV fluid is to be ran over or is to be running at a 250 mLs per hour. How long will these IV bags last? So two two liters. Okay. So two times two is four, right? So a total of four liters, which is 4,000 milliliters you have to account for the total number of bags and their size. So again, two at two liters is a total of four liters, which is equivalent to 4,000 milliliters. So now we take our 4,000 milliliters divided by our 250, okay? And we have a total of 16 hours is the total time that these bags will run, okay? So again, pay attention to how the problem is worded. So the next problem, two 500 ml IV bags are running at 100 ml per hour. How long will these IV bags last? So two 500. So we have a total of 1,000 milliliters. So 1,000 divided by 100 and we get our total time. So again, two 500 ml bags, so 500 times two is a total of 1,000 milliliters being ran. And when you run those at 100 ml per hour, you divide that, you get 10 hours. Is how long it's gonna take for both bags to run completely, okay? If you have any questions, please email me, call me, um, let me know and I can help you.